What's up and welcome back to the channel for a special video today and Merry Christmas whenever you're watching this. Today we have a special video. We're going to be talking about my top five Christmas movies of all time. Now one and two stay the same but the rest change year in and year out. This list is going to be controversial so you've been warned. Now there's a lot of Christmas movies out there so it's very difficult to narrow this down to just five movies but we're going to do our best. Starting up at number five, the horror comedy, Krampus. This is such a great flick about the shadow of Santa Claus, the goat-like demon that punishes naughty kids and non-believers. There are some really cool scenes in this flick, such as an army of snowman, the dolls and puppets that eat people, and even killer gingerbread men. Classic. This has a great cast and a great story that starts with a quibbling family dinner to each one fending for their life. Nothing says Christmas like killer cookies and sub-zero temperatures. I like this movie more than Gremlins, which unfortunately did not make the list this year. Next up, The Feel-Gooder, The Santa Claus, starring Tim Allen. This is a great flick from 1994, and it's very family-friendly, and it shows Tim Allen taking up the reins as Saint Nick after he kills. The other Santa Claus falls off the roof, so kind of killed him. Tim Allen plays a divorced father who has trouble connecting with his son, but when he becomes Santa Claus, their bond grows stronger than ever, even though no one else believes them. This is a funny family comedy that is definitely worthy of repeat annual viewings. Tim Allen shines in the way he was so famous for in the 1990s. Number three on the list is the 1990 classic, Home Alone, starring Macaulay Culkin. What I remember about this movie is when my dad was up in Canada hunting, my mom took my brother, my sister, and myself to see this movie, and we howled. We had such a great time with it that when he came back from hunting, we went and saw it again. We had a great time with it, and we've been watching it many times over the years. Funny thing is, when we remodeled our kitchen, my mom had to have the kitchen faucet the same as the kitchen faucet in this movie. This is a great flick where Macaulay Culkin is left alone as his family goes off to Paris. He has to be the man of the house, including fending off would-be burglars played by Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern. It's so funny to watch them be completely outmatched by the little eight-year-old. A great family flick that also gets an annual viewing. Now on to number two, which just celebrated its 20th anniversary, the John Favreau and Will Ferrell classic, Elf. Now, when I went to see this in the theater for the first time, I wasn't a Will Ferrell fan. I didn't think he was funny at all. I thought he was really annoying. But after this movie, that changed. I started to like and respect him a little more. Now I watch all his movies. Will Ferrell plays a human raised by elves in Santa's workshop. He goes to New York to find his dad and saves Christmas. It's just a feel-good family flick that offers tears and laughs and the first-time use of a sugary, classic spaghetti. It's a great flick. And now on to number one. And if you know me, you probably already know what it is. Welcome to the party, pal! That's right, the quintessential Christmas action flick, Die Hard, starring Bruce Willis, the movie that kickstarted his career. 
In fact, this movie ushered in a ton of movies that tried to imitate and duplicate the success of this, including Die Hard itself, but they never really could. There's some good ones out there, but this one, it's great. It's in my top 10 movies of all time. It's that good. You should have watched this, definitely. The infamous John McClane, a cop from New York, takes on the baddies in Nakatomi Tower and helps save the hostages and his separated wife from Hans Gruber, played by the late Alan Rickman. For those of you that say it's not a Christmas movie, well, it's dripping with Christmas spirit. From the Run DMC, Christmas Time, and Hollis Queens, to the Now I Have a Machine Gun, Ho 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 sweatshirt. Hell, the wrapping tape was crucial to holding the pistol in the climactic ending scene. This movie is in my top 10, like I said, and it's the best Christmas movie ever. Well, there you have it. My top five Christmas movies for this year. Could change next year. There's a lot of movies that didn't make the list, such as Bad Santa, Gremlins, Trading Places, Christmas Vacation, Jingle All the Way. The list goes on and on, but you can only pick five. I did the best I could. Die Hard number one. Well, that's today's video. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And come back again. See what we're watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share, bro.